Hey guys, I want to do a video on books that we're reading for the month of November. Now this is not all the books that we're reading, but just our main chapter books. I am not adding in picture books because there's just way too many. We just go through picture books like crazy. So I'm just doing our chapter books. So I'm going to start with me. I am a... Um, I read multiple books at one time. I have like five ongoing books. Well, maybe not five. Let's see, one, two, like three or four. So I always have a fiction book and I'm reading short right now. I read Three Wishes by Leanne Moriarty um, last week and I'm reading Short by Holly Sloan. It's a middle grade novel. So I'm reading that right now. And it's so far, I just started and so far it's really good. And then, at, um, at the same time, I read a nonfiction, and I'm still working on Little Girls Can Be Mean. I really like it. It's just, it's not one I usually just pick up. I usually pick, read this in a waiting room, or if I'm waiting in the van, or something like that. So, that's my nonfiction. This is my two hard copies that I always am reading. It's usually a library book, or something like that, in a nonfiction that I buy. And my next one is, it's actually a nonfiction, but I treat it as a fiction. It's a Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. I've read this a long time ago and loved it, so I'm going to read it again because it's that good. And we're really into camping and outdoors, and this is about him, and he's going to hike the Appalachian Trail, and it's really good. I really recommend that. So those are my books. I also read about two books on my Kindle, and I save those for bedtime. That way I'm not having the light on, and I don't have a book light. And so that way I can read it at night. So that's my book. Sorry, I'm like crouched down. I don't have my tripod. I'm missing a piece. It's in my um, backpacking backpack. Me and my daughter just went backpacking this week, get, last night. And so it's in there. And I'm just too lazy to go out to the van and unpack my backpack to find that little piece. So I am like got you leaned up on the table. And I'm like squatting down so I can get in the frame. Anyway. Um, moving on to Miette. Miette has just started reading by herself. She's eight and she has her own library card, which is a great thing if you have a reluctant reader is to let them get their own library books with their own card. So she's been getting these Critter Club. Yes, it's not like the most advanced literary classic, but it gets her reading and she can read them fast and she feels accomplished and boosts her confidence. So the Critter Club is what she's reading on her own and she's reading this Heidi Heckelback to me out loud. It's something that she's interested in so that's what she's reading out to me. Reading to me is illustrated inside and the words are big so it makes it a little bit easier for her to follow along and read out loud to me which she has struggled with. So those are her two books that she's reading. Um, and also at night time after I put her sisters into bed I usually read a chapter um, to her out loud in her bed of uh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So I, I completely forgot to bring that down. And moving on to Kinsey. Um, she's my five-year-old, my kindergarten, so she's just learning to read. And I read a lot, a lot, a lot to her and through picture books. But she's starting these Bob books. Set one, we're on book four. So Bob book she's reading to me and we are slowly making our way through Dick and Jane. I just have a treasury book and we're just starting from the beginning and that's how I pick out her sight words is what's in that story that we're working on and I just add like this week was funny and help and little were the words she didn't know in this week's story so we worked on those on sight words, flashcards. And then I'm not adding Marley because she just does a lot of picture books. That's so far what all of us individually are doing. I and for read alouds, I have we just finished the witches last week, I believe, which took us a little longer than I thought we were gonna do. But we are now working on the Birch Bark House. Now this is a book club pick. I do a book club for the girls down the street, and they're all about me at eight. She's the youngest, and then there's they're ten, and they're in fourth grade. They just turned ten. So. We're reading the book Birch Bark House, and then I'll have a book club meeting next month, and 
do projects and talk about what we liked about the book and what we didn't like about the book and if just all that fun jazz. So I'm reading this out loud with all my kids because usually Mackenzie and Marley are part of the book club and they want to be um, reading the book as well. And we are also listening on Audible to The Black Stallion. I own the book, but I'm not reading it out loud. We're listening to it just because I'm reading enough books out loud that with their history and Ambleside and science books and picture books, this is our Audible book. And we listen to that in the car when we're going. We usually listen to one chapter when we go somewhere that's more than 30 minutes away. So everywhere since we live out in the country. We live in town, but everything is about 30 minutes away. My parents are 30 minutes away. Um, the nearest Target is an hour away. Walmart's only 15 minutes away, but yeah. So we do, we are in the car a lot. So Black Stallion, we're about, we're still in the beginning, but that's all. What we're doing for the month of November.